the new issue of It's Interesting to Know is called The Structure and Chemical and Physical Properties of Precious Metals. The physical and chemical properties of precious metals, like all other elements, are determined by their atomic, molecular and crystal structure. The properties of a substance depend on the way that electrons, protons and neutrons are arranged in the atom, their number and the order of their movement. Dmitry Mendeleev's periodic table of the elements enables us to organize this information. In the periodic system, gold and silver are located in group 11, while platinoids are located in group 10. The noble metals owe their name to their chemical properties. They are chemically inert, so their ability to participate in chemical reactions is very low. Let's have a look at the properties of the noble metals. Gold is a soft and pliable metal. Burning it does not cause oxidation. Gold dissolves only in aqua regia, which is a mixture of two very strong acids, as well as in liquid bromine and aqueous solution of cyanide, in the presence of oxygen. The metal dissolves slowly in chlorine and bromine waters, as well as in potassium iodide solution. The ability of gold to react with other compounds increases with increasing temperature. Silver is also highly pliable. It can be hammered into a sheet up to 0 .00001 millimeter thick, 100 thousandths of a millimeter. Silver is chemically stable, which means that it remains unchanged in the natural environment, while molten silver can absorb more oxygen than 20% of its volume. Platinum has a high density and is the third heaviest precious metal after osmium and iridium. It is a ductile and malleable metal with high castability. Platinum is harder and more resistant to mechanical stress than gold and silver. That is why jewelry can be made out of almost pure platinum, while special alloy ingredients must be added to gold and silver to improve their durability. Platinum resembles palladium in its chemical properties but is more chemically stable. Palladium is soft, so micro-additives of nickel, cobalt, rhodium or ruthenium are used to improve its mechanical properties and increase its hardiness. It is the lightest of the platinum group metals with the lowest melting point. It is both malleable and ductile. It can be used as a catalyst due to its high dissolving capacity for hydrogen, for example during the combustion process. Rhodium is a typical platinoid a silvery gray malleable but hard and brittle metal. Unlike gold and platinum, rhodium is resistant to mechanical treatment. Therefore, a temperature of 800 to 900 degrees Celsius is required to roll or draw it out into a wire. It has a high chemical resistance. Solid rhodium is resistant to acids and bases. It is only soluble in hot agua regia or in concentrated sulfuric acid. Iridium is a heavy metal that is also resistant to mechanical treatment due to its hardness. Scientists still have not decided which metal is heavier, osmium or iridium, since the difference in density, which is as small as 0.04 grams per cubic centimeter, can be attributed to calculation errors. Like its relatives, iridium imparts its physical and mechanical properties to alloys with other metals. It strengthens any compound, making it more durable and wear-resistant. Ruthenium One of the lightest of the platinum group metals. However, its refractory properties surpass many other well-known substances. This metal requires a temperature of 2,334 degrees Celsius to turn into a liquid. The most valuable physical property of this metal is its hardness. 6.5 out of 10 on the Mohs hardness scale. Osmium is the hardest of all known metals. However, it is brittle and difficult to process. It remains lustrous even at high temperatures. Osmium is considered the densest of all the elements, slightly surpassing iridium in this parameter. It is interesting to note that osmium is paramagnetic, so it can become magnetized when placed in an external magnetic field. These properties and characteristics of the precious metals affect their mining, production and use. Subsequent issues in the It's Interesting to Know series will cover these topics.